What's up guys, Omega here and welcome back to GT7. And in this video, we're going to go over the BOP changes to the Group 3 cars after update 1.29 and take a look at which cars have been buffed and which cars have been nerfed. If you find this video useful at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content and let's get into it. So I get this information from a website called GT Engine. There'll be a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. But if you don't have time to scroll through all this data, then I've made this video to try and make your life a little bit easier. So you'll see there's three different sets of data here. One is for low speed, mid speed, and high speed BOP. And if you don't know what that is, then I believe that it depends on the track as to which BOP is applied. But if you're unsure, you can always just go into the event and in the settings, it will tell you whether it's low, mid or high speed. As you can see here, this one's mid speed BOP. And that will give you a heads up as to which BOP is being applied. So what I'll do is I'll go through and let you know which cars have been buffed and at which BOP level. So first up, let's go through which cars have been buffed. First up, we have the Audi R8. This has been buffed in all three high, mid and low speed areas. And the same goes for the Audi R8 Evo. Now next up, we have the Citroen GT Citro. That has been buffed in all areas also. Next up, we have the Peugeot VGT. And that has been also buffed in all three areas. And next up, we have the Renault RS01. That has been buffed in all areas. And next up, we have the Lamborghini Huracan which has also been buffed in all three areas. And next up is the Ford GT 2018 road car, and that has been buffed in all areas. And next up, we have the Nissan GTR 2018 model. So this is the new GTR. It has been buffed in the high and low speed BOP, but left alone in the mid speed BOP. And coming up next, we have the Subaru BRZ and that has also been buffed in the high and low speed BOP levels, but left alone in the mid speed. Up next, we have the McLaren, which has been buffed in all three areas. Then we have the Honda NSX, which has been buffed in high speed and left alone in mid and low speed. And finally, we have the Porsche, which has been buffed in high speed and left alone in mid and low speed. Now moving on to which cars have been nerfed. First up, we have the BMW M6 Endurance, that has been nerfed in both the high and low speed BOP and left alone in the mid speed. And the same thing with the other BMW M6. The Toyota Supra has had a nerf in the low speed BOP area, but left alone in the mid and high speed area. And one that many people will probably be quite happy with, we have the Nissan GTR 2013 model, which has been nerfed in all three BOP areas. And then next up, we have the Genesis, which has been nerfed in the high speed and low speed and left alone in the mid speed BOP. And finally, we have the two Mazda RX Visions, which have been nerfed in both the high speed and the low speed BOP and left alone in the mid speed. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this and whether you'd like to see a group four version of this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.